JCB scrapbooking back with another process video. This one is for um, the four by six only um, sketches with Allison Davis. It's a class I'm taking on line and I can't show you the sketch, but um, I can show you my layout. So I'm using these um, photos of my son playing in a basketball tournament. And I picked out some scrap papers and then this beautiful wood grain as my background. Well, the white paper actually is going to be the background. This is just going to be one of the elements. The wood grain is going to be the main uh, element on the background or something like that. Anyways, okay, so I'm actually sticking very close to the sketch and um. I'm kind of using it as where to position my papers. So I have the sketch in front of me. And so I just picked out these papers and um, I thought, okay, this is what I'm going to do. Um, I do have my white paper um, or white cardstock tacked down onto my pink mat. That way it doesn't move around on me. And I'll just build both uh, sides of my paper on it, and uh, it works out really well. So I cut my um, wood paper down, so uh, I have most of it onto the left side of the layout, and then just a small piece onto the right side, and I'm just lining it up there. Um, between the two pages I did cut a little bit off I didn't want it to be a full 11 inches so I cut about three inches off of it and um, and now I'm just trying to figure out how I want my photos to lay these are very um, small not very good quality photos um, but they still tell the story um, this is when my son was in a basketball tournament this last, uh, I think it was in March. Yeah. And um, he was on a team with some friends. And um, so I was able to uh, get some uh, pictures of him. And it's just a, um, it's at an alumni tournament. So it's all older people. And, uh, not, you know, like really old. My son's only 23. But, you know, they're out of school. <laughs> so they're, you know, college age and up. And then um, I am using the sketch. Um, it has where Allison puts um, the striped page uh, strips. And I love the way she uses striped um, that says accents. And so actually this collection of this paper pad that I picked, I picked because of this striped paper that was in it. I thought it was um, just perfect and I love the colors and so that's why I picked these. And I don't have a whole lot of it left, but um, it was enough to do this layout. And I probably have enough to do a couple more layouts, but Okay, so I'm getting these all here down. I love this um, red with the florals in the background. That's like one of my favorite pa pa pages from this. And then this um, striped, it's like a chevron uh, paper. This is all I have of it left. And so I am trying to figure out how I'm going to use it. Um, and so... I think I used just about all but one tiny little strip of it. And um, I'm just going to put a stripe on the top and the bottom of the pictures on the right page. And then a little tiny strip of it over on the left page, and which I have to piece together, but it works out just fine. And yeah, so this is how this is going to sit. And just frames those that strip of pictures in the middle and I yeah really really love these colors with this um, layout so uh, I start 
I hearing everything down here. Um, I do use that wood grain paper as like a, um, what do you call it? Uh, <laughs> ruler to lay this down. I don't know what I was doing there. I think I must have been talking to someone just, so I could have cut that out. Sorry. And so I get that piece laid down and then I'm going to start with the center picture because I know I want it to go right against the edge of the page and then I'll start working from the center out on both pages. So I get these here down and it was kind of weird not putting all my pictures like on a um, mat but um, I do have the these striped papers that are going to go behind it. So they make kind of a mat. But um, I like the way it looks. I'm just so used to matting all my pictures that it's kind of odd. But I like I said, I follow the sketch very, very closely on this one. And this is how she had it. And then um, I will come in with... This is what I have left of that paper pad. And I'm coming in with some stars she has stars on her layout too on her on the sketch and so it works out perfect um i figured stars are great for a basketball theme and i have one star punch so that's what that little red star is and then here i am tracing it and then i'm going to cut it out bigger so that i can layer on uh, three different um, well, I layer two stars together, the one I punch and then the one I cut out. Um, I do that with three different stars. So I have my three embellishment clusters, just like that are in the sketch. And so I have one at the top, um, one, and then two at each bottom corners. And then I come in with these little, um, stickers here. These are stars. I bring the green in. I, there was no purple in the layout, so I didn't use any of the purple ones. And then I do bring in the blue stars and this little bit smaller um, stars here because um, there is blue in the pictures. And so I went ahead and bring those in. And then I bring the silver in too just because I wanted another color. And so those are the stickers I use. And then I am going to come in with... Um, a stamp and do um, some stamping with a star shape but um, when I bring the stamp in the video is going to end so I'll have to come back live in a sec okay so I did the stamping here 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 and here and then I did come in with my pin I'm just using this uh, pilot pin it's really nice wedding pin and I did a border around here to um, indicate the stitching that she had in her sketch and then I added some um, snarky phrases Tim Holtz phrases across here and here and then um, added the number five, because that's the number my son was wearing during this tournament. Um, and it says Clark for uh, attorney is my title. And, um, oh, and then I added this. This was not in the sketch, but I went ahead and added that in because um, my daughter said it looked very plain. And um, that helped bring in the black that was inside to the outside. And we liked that. And... I brought in these beautiful, these are um, diamond, no, these are um, fingernail gems. And I brought them in in the stars and added the stars around just to give it a little bit different texture. So these are popped up, these are flat, and then you have the gold spread around. So there's my layout. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye.